Okay, so I'm a lineman and uh, he's from Hawaii and uh, he's been hurting for 20 years, I guess, but really, really bad for the last year, okay? Five years and then one more year, blah, blah, blah. So uh, he had a rotator cuff surgery on the left side and it's been complicating his neck for all these years and now he can't sleep. And so he's grumpy and his wife goes, get out of my freaking house and go get treated so I can look at you again. Check out that range of motion. Check out that pain. Here's his x-rays. Look at that bone growth inside the muscle. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Did you say the left side was hard? My name is Lyman. I'm 52 years old and I'm a handyman. Gotcha. Where are you from again? Honolulu, Hawaii. Here for sleep. Um, deprived of sleep. Uh, pain in my neck. My shoulder. But I want you guys to hear, before he goes on, he came here for sleep, sleep. not for pain, guys, because he goes, I can deal with the pain, probably, right? Yes, I, but I deal sleep. with it. For and so years. I love that my channel has brought him here because sleep is so important. Oh, my sleep is terrible. I can't even fall asleep now. Um, I have to actually take medication to, to go to sleep. When I was younger, I used to sleep on my stomach and my legs facing up towards the ceiling. Gotcha. I got hurt at my job, my previous job. Uh, lifting something over my head and uh, my rotator cuff tore and re I kind of um, went to the orthopedic to get it fixed. And he had surgery on it and ever since then what? You've had problems with range Problem, of motion? Problem, range of motion, my neck um, got sore. I even had uh, epidural shots. How much pain is it in when it, when it gets bad? Tw uh, 10 out of 10. You smoke ganja over there too? No, but I was trying it, but it doesn't help. It doesn't help, no. right? My neck, uh, I can look down, but I can't look towards the ceiling. It uh, feels a little discomfort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, left to right, I have a s sandy sound when I move left to right. And you guys know I do that all the time on the x-rays. Sandy sound comes from where? The Atlas rubber on C2. Very easy to see that. We have some shortness of breath also. Twitching in his left eye. I only go to the bathroom <laughs> maybe two times out of the week. Treatment. I've been to chiropractors. I've been to acupunctures. Uh, I try to do natural sleep remedies and physical else. therapy. Physical therapy. Oh yeah. A stretching. Lot of he stretches like goes. I stretch all the time. Every day. <laughs> Every day, right? Every day. Yeah, exactly. So stretching and being physically fit does not help this pain. Does not help the issue. So all you guys, all your physical therapists out there, are going to tell me the, the otherwise. It's not true. Uh, I'm gonna fix them and you guys will watch, but you guys won't believe me because the spine comes first and the muscles are second. No pain there we talked about, right? Yep. Please. No, the little tension there, how much? Two, three. Two, three. Nothing really there though, right? No tension. Now look at the ceiling. Six. See how much you can turn? It's not very bad range of motion. Good. What is that tension? Six, seven. Eight. Ten. This, is, this please. Go out. See the difference, guys? Yeah, see the difference? X-rays uh, show surprisingly okay neck. I mean, there's some arthritis in there. The grinding, he talks about the sandpaper sound. It's not as bad as most people come in here. Uh, tons of arthritis in his middle back and his low back has tons of cardio, uh, has a rib calcification, tons. Constipation, off the chart. We have 11 millimeter right imbalance, 10 degree spinal curve. Here we have massive constipation, rib calcification, and seven degree curve. Here we have huge soft tissue bone growth inside the muscle, one third atlas wear. Here we have slight compression fracture and thoracic arthritis. Who we tight. That's a one strong neck. Maybe the Jiu Jitsu kind of has, has a problem too because you, you work on neck strength too. Yes. You do the pivots on the floor and stuff? The old? Yes. Yeah, his neck is strong. The adjustment feel deep. Um, deep. No one ever cracked it. And how many different chiropractors have you been to before? At least three. At least three? And nobody's ever been able to crack it, crack it at all? Especially the left side, yes. Now you got it all jacked up. <laughs> yes. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Did you say the left side was hard? Yeah, oh, good. And that's the first one you've ever had? The left side? That side, yes. That was actually easier than the right side. Yes. Can you believe it? No other chiropractor could ever adjust his left side of his neck. Wow. Let's see how he's feeling. Really light. Light. Light-headed. Uh, my shoulders feel light. No tension in my neck. Oh, I can breathe better. I, I took on just some deep breath right now. I feel good. Cool, huh? Yeah. So, okay, Lyman, walk down the hall, recalibrate your spine, spread that adjustment from your neck to your toesies. Let's see how you're doing. A little bit tingly in my left fingertips. Yes, exactly. Feels um, really loose. You didn't have any pain there before, right? No. 
But now, look at the ceiling. Little tension, but I can go back further. We can see that, see? Way further back, guys. Yeah. Got it. Uh, still tension, yeah, about it was five. A, it was a six a minute ago, yeah. right? Okay, now, go and put it down. You guys can see it went up a little easier behind the back. Mm. Oh, I can climb the back higher, yes. Right, yeah, yes. Right, right. Yes. Put the arm down. Okay, now do this one. Now. Still tension, a big little, you can see the difference. Yes, yes, yeah. You Did see? I touch your shoulder? No. And I didn't even touch, didn't even touch his throat. Doing awesome. Um, it's hard work. You think it's easier, um, but it's not. You have to put in the work and time. What advice you give yourself if you're watching this video? My advice to myself would, um, Put the your right uh, best foot forward. You um, <laughs> you just got to work hard at it, and don't take um, the teaching for granted. Good, I like that. Trying to force your shoulders down to where they're supposed to be. When the shoulders are in the right spot, it allows the brain to feel better. Woo wee! How much pain is this, by the way? Nine. I feel a lot of no pressure um, on the neck, on the shoulders. Um, feel like my arms are drooping forward. More like you're supposed to, like I try to teach you. Yes. Now we're going to adjust his neck on the chair. Shoulders down, shoulders down. Good, relax. Don't let it go. Good, let it go. Good, let it go. Definitely tight. Good. We have had a class this week and uh, it's been very touching and revealing and uh, it's kind of like a men's club this week, right? Oh yes. Yes. Retreat. And so it's been really, really great and uh, I think Lyman's come a long ways. This week I got out of the class um, community. We can learn from each other. Um, all the adjustment works with um, your mind. You come in for one particular um, pain, but you you leave with um, knowledge of other things in um, the class, whether um, uh, how to successfully stand or uh, sleep and stuff like that. So emotionally, uh, it helped me break through some barriers. Um, helps me kind of connect the physical with your mental ability to control pain. Hard on myself because I'm so on schedule all the time. Um, meeting. He's not, he's not giving, he's a people pleaser. People pleaser, yes. That's it. <laughs> he's, a little worried, he's a little worried about this getting on camera. Thinking about everybody else yes. and not thinking about yourself is a problem with lots of my patients. And he's got it pretty bad. So he cares about everybody else more than he cares about himself. And what does that do to you? It puts a lot of barrier in my mind and, and my ability to share honestly. Again, it hurts him. <laughs> yes. So this is the dishonesty that he's given right now. He's a wonderful man, wonderful human being. Love the shit out of him, but he doesn't. He needs to take care of himself. And so I think he's made some breakthroughs. I wish it was more, but um, there's a lot in this noggin. <laughs> we got some of it out this yes. week, and I think we've made some big progress. And so. He feels pretty darn good. My sleeping that I came in for is percentage wise fifty percent better with the sleep because I used to take medication to sleep, but now I'm sleeping on my own. You told me a couple days ago you dreamed. When's the last time you dreamed? I don't remember when I dreamt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When I wake up, I feel refreshed. That I I feel positive. That I made little stride for myself. Um, controlling my mental thoughts. A little road rage. Yes. Too. How has that changed this week? This is a pretty good one, guys. It changed me a lot. Um, driving in California by myself, it's just a big change in itself. So um, no anxiety, I would say. Um, lessen my pain. The BMW that crossed in front of you? Now, yep, the first time I was here. No more of that, so. He gets um, a little, get a little extra anxious. Yes. But he's able to drive now and, and goes, I feel good. I feel really yeah. good. 20 years of shoulder pain. 20 years of shoulder pain. We got the pain down to at least two. Um, my from a what? From a eight or nine, yeah. 10 even sometimes yeah. in my rotator. Yeah, 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 cup. better, right? Yes. Neck pain, I usually had the pain 
here. How does it feel first? Feels good. Feels good. <laughs> Constipation. <laughs> this guy had the brownest eyes you've ever seen. Now it's green. Now it's green. <laughs> Tell us how, because he's a once or twice a week pooper forever. And now what happens? Every morning? day. Every, every day. morning. Every morning. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What does that feel like to get that stuff out of you? It feels abnormal. <laughs> right? You yes. feel empty? Yeah, you I feel, feel empty. You feel 10 pounds lighter? Yes, for gotcha. sure. Left eye twitching. It went away. Um, and I noticed when I get up, it was uh, closed. But now it opens. Gotcha. How about this uh, tingling or whatever? Not headaches, but that... Um, no tingly. Still stuffed up in my... Interesting. We haven't, yes. I, we haven't discussed that yes, at all. Yes, correct. Okay, shortness of breath. I feel much better. I got... Um, I feel really good in yeah. my breath. He has a little pigeon chest we kind of discovered this week. Talking about the pigeon chest, I've noticed that bones up there. Yeah, clavicles. Clavicles were... Extrude, yeah, 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 a lot. That's called pound of pigeon chest, yes. And so he's going home because uh, he needs to get back to his family. But uh, we were going to set the shit out of those next week. But this side went down. It did go down. Uh, wonderful experience with this guy. I love this guy. And yes. so we're going to get him, get you adjusted and uh, let you guys watch. And so I, was, I, got, I hope you guys appreciate this. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Woo. That was a good one today. That was a good one, right? Yes. You okay? I like just coming here. I know. <laughs> just general. I don't want to go anywhere else. Being a, 